one above, one below. You're going to have the um, roll gauze. So. Roll gauze um, to secure it in place. You can use a stylet. Usually we use stylets for the smaller ET tube sizes. Not necessarily for the big ones, but... The big ones are usually rigid enough. Yeah. Big ET tubes, so you don't need yeah. to. Um, the thing with the stylets, though, is if you push it all the way in, if it goes past, you need to bend it. You can bend these, and that's fine. I don't care. Okay? So that it doesn't go past the tip. Okay? It'll puncture if it goes past. Yeah, it'll puncture right through the tracer. <coughs> Less than ideal. Yeah. All right, as far as catheter sizes go, it's go big or go home. Right? Mm -hmm. yes. yeah. mm -hmm. Because, why do we need a big catheter? More. Yeah, so if we need that vein access, we don't want to be waiting on this small little bit of catheter for it to drip, 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 drip into the vein. Okay? So, um, so pretty much all your dogs are going to be 18s, and then your cats are going to be 20s or 22s. Okay? Did I see a 24 out? Mm -hmm. Okay. No 24. Yeah. 24s don't exist. Small dogs can receive 20s. Um, you'll need a couple different tubes things, so you're going to need eye lube, triple antibiotic, and then a sterile lube packet from in there. You'll need tape, so you should have a roll on here, as well as some pre-done strips. You need a baby gauze with some triple antibiotic on there. And then we have a pen light. Um, if we have a cat, we may need lidocaine. Um, we should at least have it out, and then we need flush. And then your induction drugs as well. That'll be with your chart. Okay? <laughs> so all of this stuff is in here. So the next week, familiarize yourself. Everything is labeled. Um, it's pretty and organized. Please keep it oh, that way. Keep it that way. It's so pretty. It's pretty please. Okay? Um, in order to open the top drawers, this has to be open. Okay, so if you're like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if we're not in here, this is going to be locked. So, because nobody's stealing whatever. All right, um, but pretty much all this stuff for conduction and everything is in here, and then all your sets. So your macro set, micro set, and your extension sets are in here. Your IV bags are on the bottom. Um, we're typically going to be using a 250 or a 500 bag, and then we're going to pull out the excess of their overdose. Okay, and we'll go over that first day with you um, and how to set the, up your line. But you guys know how to set up your line, though, right? Um, you should have a large piece of tape with the surgery rate drips for 10 seconds in the mils per hour. Maintenance rate, both, and your overdose want written on there. And drip for 10 seconds? Yes. Yeah. Can we use for, both of them? We'll use both. Yep. For just the surgery, not maintenance. Surgery and maintenance. Both. Sur and yeah. We'll use both. Okay. Um, 
are in here because we can't okay. have them in. Yeah. So okay. they're right around the corner here. So you've got the wash and the lube. So after you use the clippers, <clears throat> you want to pour some of the wash into the cap here. Stip the, stick the blade in, okay, like this, and you're going to run it. Bzzz, pull it out, dry it off. That much oil. Yeah. You, need, so you do not need it to fill it. Okay. And then once you've wiped it off, then you're going to use your lube, turn it on, spray the lube, turn them off, and then you're ready to go. Okay. So you should always clean these at the end of surgery day when you're done. And if they're dirty when you get them out. Right. And the brushes that are over there, the surgical brushes, the big ones, use those to brush out the excess hair and everything because that will wash them up. Um, 